HAPS 100 is industry's highest performance and most scalable prototyping system. Software development and system validation team relies on prototyping to meet time to market windows. Synopsys HAPS prototyping solution helps to avoid costly device respins by enabling early software development and hardware software validation prior to the availability of final SOC. Today, we are demonstrating the key performance features of HAPS 100 platform by booting the kernel on the RISC-V core within a minute. HAPS prototyping software is tightly integrated to hardware platforms and builds upon Synopsys 20 plus years of experience in FPGA synthesis and delivers the highest performance using timing optimization for the direct connect architecture of the hardware. Synopsys customers also benefit from Synopsys design where IP prototyping kits, which are critical to accelerate IP integration, software development, and system validation. Let's have a look at the architecture of this demo. We have four core RISC V rocket CPU system, high speed DDR4 for memory interface, Synopsys Designware PCI Gen 3 EP RC interface to the RISC with Synopsys Designware AXI fabric. Finally, the physical UART connected to the host system via USB cable. Let us now see the hardware. This is the HAPS 104F platform. It consists of four AMD VU19P FPGA devices, A, B, C, and D FPGAs. Each device has 36 HAPS Track 3 connectors, that is nothing but HD3 connectors, that can be connected within the system or across multiple HAP systems to create highly complex prototyping platform. The PCIe daughter card is attached to the high-speed MGB2 connector of the HAP system, which allows four-lane PCIe Gen 3 IP to operate at 250 megahertz. The DDR4 daughter card is mounted on HAPS HT3, A23, A24 and A25 connectors. The physical UART is connected via GPIO board mounted on HT3, A11 connector. The host is connected to this platform via UMR that is Universal Multi-Resource Bus Interface and it is available via USB 3.0 as well as PCIe over USB. During this demo, we will be loading Linux kernel onto the DDR memory via backdoor access. The RISC-V rocket CPU system would boot the Linux kernel and show you the prompt. The RISC-V core here is running at 50 megahertz. Let us now have a look at the HAPS protocompiler software that is tightly integrated with HAPS platform. As a part of verification continuum, HAPS protocompiler have VCS as a front end, which allows us to easily migrate the design from VCS simulation or ZB emulation environment to the HAPS flow. The flow includes timing aware, highly flexible partitioning engine. We describe the HAPS hardware platform to the software using a target system specification, which is also a TSS file. HAPS protocompiler FPGA synthesis engine delivers highest performance, especially on real world interface. The Vivado place and route is tightly integrated here to generate individual bit files. 
depending upon the setup it takes couple of hours for single or multi fpga flows to generate the bit file as we program the bit files you can see the fpga leds getting stable on the hardware where the fpga bit file is loaded after configuring the system by default the design is under reset state during this time we will load the kernel to the ddr memory using the backdoor access on releasing the reset the cpu boots the kernel and we get a linux prompt to demonstrate the pcie ep link we have connected the host pc to the system on the mgb2 connector that is am222 to enumerate the pcie ep device we will be rebooting the host system after rebooting run the ls pci command on the host system linux prompt we can see here that synopsis pci ep device is enumerated to conclude synopsis haps prototyping solutions provides effective timing driven partition and synthesis with the in house risc core based soc we are able to get the core clock at 50 megahertz real world interface that is pci gen 3 to operate at 250 megahertz ddr4 memory at 200 megahertz and the system axi bus at 20 megahertz the high performance is achieved with a synchronous clocking scheme the performance and high throughput allows software engineers to perform peta cycles of hardware software verification and validation which helps to catch hard to find bugs for more information visit www.synopsis.com/haps thank you thank you